For Shannon Osborne and her newborn daughter, it's been a tough 24 hours. She ain't comfortable and I'm not comfortable. It's really hard because we've got a lot of things in the house and we've lost, I'm not even sure what we've lost because we weren't able to stay there. Tonight, Osborne is sleeping next to strangers. The Binghamton University Event Center crowded with cots and flood victims, desperate to know how their homes and loved ones are faring against the floodwaters. It is tough because everything you own is there. You don't like to leave your home, you know, especially when you have pets and stuff. It's hard and it's just disrupting, so but we're, we're managing. <laughs> right now, 1,700 people are being housed inside the event center. It was filled late this afternoon, and if more flood victims need help, the Red Cross says it will continue to open shelters nearby. First thing we wanted to do is to make sure that they had information on what's going on outside of these walls. Uh, it helps to calm people down. But outside is the harsh reality of a city underwater. More than 20,000 people have already been forced to leave their homes, and emergency officials are warning people not to wait it out. Crews have already answered more than 100 dangerous rescue calls. If water's coming up around your house, get out quick, or better yet, get out when it's coming up the street, because uh, the last thing you need to be is rescued in a boat, because that not only puts you at risk, in your family, but it also puts the emergency responders in risk. Meanwhile, those who escaped the flooding could be here for another week and are praying that when the water goes down, they still have a house to go home to. Reporting in Binghamton tonight, I'm Caitlin Nuclow.